Hello, Jeff Cowan here, and thank you for watching and listening. Well, here we are. We're now at the end of my new series of Hump Day messages that I filmed recently at the best training day ever. And this possibly is the most important message of all because in this message, I show you what's at stake. What's at stake if you're not prepared to handle this new customer we've been talking about throughout the series? What's at stake if your people aren't trained and don't have the latest tools and technology they need to be successful with this new customer? This message is so important that I strongly encourage you to gather everybody around in the shop, make sure they have something to write with and write on, and take full advantage of this message because it's a powerful one and I know you're going to like it. Now with that said, I also want to let you know that even though this is the last message in the series, that next week we're going to start a whole new series and I know you're going to love those messages. So until then, enjoy the message, good luck, have a great week, and I'll see you in a week because here's what's at stake. Now your labor rate may be higher, but the average labor rate today as we stand here across the country is $80. I'm going to be conservative. The average, the average dealership out there today, according to NADA, is if you take all of the manufacturers, you put them together, including oil changes, the average hour per repair order is 1.67. I've yet to step on a service drive anywhere that can't produce at least 2.5 hours per repair order, including oil changes. It's a real number. Don't let me kid you. Okay? You can actually go to 3.0 in, in most places. So what we're talking about here is a, is a lot of money. Now, let me just give you an idea here what, what, my, what my opinion is this 1.67. Getting to 1.8 is having the ability to get your advisors off the chair, go over to a customer and shake their hand and say, thanks for coming in. There's 1.8. 1 1.8 .8 to 2.2, it's process. Process that dictates that no matter who I talk to when I come in, I'm handled and talked to exactly the same way. 2.2 to 2.5 and 6 is how good can they get at executing that process. 2.5 and 2.6 and, and going toward 3.0, what technology have you given them, what tools, what, and, and have you taught them how to use it? That's all it is, all right? And so knowing that the average dealer is at 1.67, keep this in mind. $80 repair order, you divide that by one-tenth, obviously we've got $8. All right? Well, if you take that $8, and by the way, this is in the back of your book, you want to fill it in, put your numbers in. If you take that $8 and you multiply it times just four tenths, let's not talk about the hour that most dealerships could get because that's too overwhelming. Let's talk about the four tenths. That's an extra $32 per repair order. And if you take that $32 and multiply it times the 20 repair orders the average advisor writes in a day, which is too, too many, by the way, but that's what they do, now you're talking about a $640 increase uh, per day per advisor. Now, if you take that $600, $140 and multiply it times uh, the 21 work days the average advisor works, it's an increase of $13,440 a month per advisor. And when I'm in a workshop with advisors, it's at this point that I tell them, or I ask them, don't think about this number, but think about this. If you take that 13 plus and you multiply it times 12 months, you come up with some ridiculous figure like $150,000 extra a year in sales before parts by not handling one more customer, answering one more telephone call, or sending out one more coupon, but by taking what you have and handling your customer like a professional salesperson the way this new customer wants to be handled, it's an extra $150,000 a year in sales, and here's the capper, that's before parts. And it's at that point I ask them, how much of that is yours? Is that a month's income, two months' income, a half month's income? Because that is a lot of income. And after I let it soak in for a few minutes, I then ask them, I point out, that's the first four tenths. Meaning if you walked in here at 1.7, rounding it up, and you get out, walk out there and take this information that I've given you today and just take it up to 2.1, it's 150000 If you take it up to 2.5, like every dealership and advisor could do, it could be an extra $300,000 a year before, before parts. It's at that point they start jumping out of their chairs and saying, Jeff, I'm in, but how can you guarantee me my dealers and managers are going to support me in this quest? And here's what I tell them. The magic's in this number right here. Because if you take that $13,440 and you multiply it times the four advisors on the average service drive, that's an extra $53,000 a month in sales. If you multiply that times 12, that's an extra in excess of $645,000 a year in sales before parts by not helping one more customer, sending out one more coupon or answering one more telephone call, but by dealers, managers, by simply taking your people and giving them the tools, the latest tools and the latest words to support those tools and the word tracks, it's an extra $645,000 a year in sales before parts. And I tell them, 
I know this is your insurance policy because there's not a dealer out there that's going to let this money sit out on their service drive because that's what it's doing right now, sitting on your service drive, waiting for somebody to step up and ask for it. So what I'm telling you, if you take this information I've just given you, I'd walk out at 1.7, take the 2.1645, take the 2.5, which all of you can do with these tools, you're talking about $1.2 million per dealership before parts. So on the parts, you double it, now it's $2.5 million times how many dealerships do you have? That's why I'm excited about this. It's never been more exciting to me to be in the service business. It's never been more exciting for me to be in retail because retail's back. I'm a professional salesperson, and I love the art of the deal, and it went away for 20 years, and it's back. The professional salesperson's going to be rewarded and rewarded big. And you can reap it all in by simply recognizing there's a new customer that takes a new way to do business with.